Shalom, all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rukha Kodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that teach in this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rukha Kodash. As you can see here, this is a, um, a channel that I check out, right? And um, this, this guy basically, you know, he's, it's, a, it's not a, like a, a famous channel or nothing, he's only got like a few subscribers. But he, he, speaks some, he speaks some truth, basically, a lot of truth about how the world is and stuff. You know, um, pretty much how the world's... He's a Jake also. The dude's like half Syrian, half Peruvian, but he's a Jake. And he kind of goes into a lot of things. He talks a lot of sense on his channel. So, you know, I, I check for his videos every now and then. But anyway, in this latest video, you know, he, he said, we have all been brainwashed and it's time to wake up. So he kind of... He's, he's angry at things that's going on in this society. You know, and it just, it made me think of some scriptures and uh, pretty much that the what, the, yeah, people with common sense are seeing this world's messed up, you know, and he even mentions it. Sometimes he even mentions it in some of his videos that, you know, it's the, it's the, it's the small hats. So people know things, you know, not, not everyone just a, a straight up goyim that you see in this world. Like the majority are just straight up goyim, but people do observe things that's going on. All right. So I'm going to play this here. And then uh, I'm going to read some scriptures. But pretty much, man, this, um, this world's messed up, man. And these, these Edomites are the cause of it, man. These so-called white people, all right? So they're called. They're the cause of all these problems, man. They're, they're elites. But it even trickles down to the common Edomite. Something that I've observed um, and that I call mass psychosis, mass brainwashing and manipulation of people's thought processes yeah. and even yeah. their own another, another thing so lucky is like the the, the the his channel's name's abud which is his name you know and abud is like an arab arab version arabic way of saying ibad basically it means servant ibad means a servant of the of yahweh right yahweh bashem yahushai abud abud is like showing you a lot of those a lot of our people are mingled amongst syrians and you know, Ishmael and whatnot. Abud is a is an Arabic way of saying I bud, I bud, servant. That's what the name means. That's his actual name. Identities that has been going on now for decades. Um, the last four or five years have been very, very clear in how much power these methods of manipulation and psychological transfer have. Just think back to, you know, five years ago, how different the world was in so many different aspects. You could pick randomly and things were definitely different. People themselves were different. People you know, friends, family members, loved ones were different. Um, so many relationships have failed in these last couple of years, more so than ever before, because people have changed so much as a result of all of this outside influence and i hate to break the news to you but all of the outside influence i'm referring to are all negative ones there are none that are positive um anything that's broadcast to you through the mass media networks anything that's allowed to be put on um cable news stations anything that's allowed to be uh, made viral on any internet platform are all messages of the same content that are approved and allowed by the same people in charge. And those people are not people that are good. They are not people that care at all about us, about others, about humanity in general. Uh, these are very cruel and cold-hearted people who only care about themselves and their love of money and power. And that love is so powerful to them that it doesn't matter how... There you go. So, I mean, I'm not going to go for this whole video, but he even just said it. The powers that be are cruel. All they care about is money and themselves, which is who? The international bankers, which are who? Small hats. The Rothschilds, Rockefellers, DuPonts, Gettys, Skiffs, Oppenheimers, all these top families, the Lees, the Bundys, the Bushes, all these families, these elite families, they're nothing but... Uh, um, you know, the wicked Edomites in the rulership of the earth and they've, they're, they've got everyone, you know, down and out, man, while, they, while, they, while they're getting rich. So this is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. A wise judge 
And they're doing it at the expense of blood, the blood, sweat and tears of the, the general people, in particular the Israelites. All right. They, you know, that's what they're doing. So this is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. It says, a wise, a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Yeah, a wise judge. All right. You know, meaning so a, a person, a righteous person is going to instruct his people in the right way. But if you've got someone that's wise and evil, they're going to instruct you in the, in the wrong way, which that's what they've done in this world, man. If these elite powers that are in rulership, which are Edomites, they've instructed everyone in an evil way. That's why everyone's thoughts in this planet, everyone walks around and they have total wit. Now, people are waking up and seeing things, but for the most part, people just have wickedness on their minds. All right, some type of mischief and evil is being conjured in people's minds. All right, that's how these people function out here, man. So a wise judge will instruct his people. But if you had a righteous ruler, that's why Yahweh Shai, when he returns, he's going to establish the kingdom of heaven and Yahweh Shai is going to be on top. And Yahweh Shai is the ultimate, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the ultimate man of wisdom. All right, he knows everything and he's going to instruct the planet in righteousness. So a wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of, of ruler of the city is, such are they that dwell therein. Exactly. So if the rulers are evil, the people, the, your general population in society is going to have nothing but evil, evil um, ways of thinking and moving. And that's what it is in this world, man. All right. People just do wickedness. Because why? It's trickling on down from the international bankers. The wickedness trickles on down from the top to the bottom. All right? And the race of the wicked are in power, which is the Edomites. I know we keep saying that, but we have to keep... It is what it is. You know? So, the, it says, As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people... But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Yeah, so an unwise king destroyeth his people. So these Edomite elites, like the, like the, 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 the man of Abud, right? He was saying, you know, all the mass media, the cable TV, the anything that's viral is all wickedness. But who's, who's allowing that? The small hats. Through their entertainment media, through their newspapers, through everything you, in, you dig, ingest in this society is all evil, man. It's all wickedness, man. All right, the music, you know, it's all, it, you know, even they poisoned our foods. So everything is all wickedness that we ingest in this society, in our brains, in our bodies. All right, because of who's ruling? The evil are ruling, man. And that's why us brothers in the faith, we constantly every day are fighting these things, fighting spirits, fighting the good fight, basically, because we know we're in a spiritual battle. We know that we're surrounded by demonic forces. All right. So an unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Said the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. Yeah. So like we always go into it, the power, the planet Earth is really the Lord owns the Earth, man. Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai, but He sets up. The powers he sets up and the elite families know this. See, the elites, they know that we're the Israelites. They know that the power is, there's a heavenly father and he's going to make his return. They know just the, the, the general population don't know. The two thirds of our people, they don't know. Which who's our people, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. But the point is the power of the planet is in the hand of Yahweh Barshem Yahweh Shai. It says, and in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And who's profitable? The Israelites. So-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native American people. That's who's, that's who's, um, uh, uh, that's who's uh, um, the profitable people to rule, all right? When we're in our right mind. But it, that all begins through Yahweh Shai, who the world calls the J-word. When he returns, he's going to set him and his people up. And we're going to rule this planet and all the heathen nations, beginning with a so-called white man under us. And we're going to rule in righteousness. We're going to... The, the law of the Bible is going to be established on the planet Earth, man. So the power of the Earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And we are the profitable ones, man. It's clear to see that the so-called white man or the powers that be of these Edomites, they are not profitable. Look at the Earth, man. They destroy their own people. These Edomites, these 
even the, 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 the that lad just said it. These their love of money is so deep that they will just they will do anything for for it. Their love of power, so they will even destroy their own. Look at these devils. They even destroy their own people. Let alone all of the other nations. They destroy their own kind. So it shows you the type of mentality these international bankers have, man. Why? Because they were created to play the role of the wicked on the planet Earth, man. All right. And and it's clear, you know, this earth needs a change, man. This earth needs a change. All right. Not nothing ain't working. The dynamics of men and women ain't working. You know, people's health is all messed up. You know, people uh, people are dying young. The earth is just under a total curse, man. This is Job nine and twenty four. The earth, and we're living close to that moment of like uh, that planet of the apes moment when they read the scrolls and Charlton Heston, he's like chained up. You know, and they're reading the scrolls for he is the beast, man. We're living in that moment. The total exposure is coming and the Yahweh Shai is going to come and chain these elites up. And we're going to read the scrolls to them, which is this Bible, man. You are the wicked. We're, the whole, e, e, the Edomites, see the elites know who they are. They know that they're, they're the house of Esau. But when we want, when we finally enslave their whole nation, they're going to finally have to acknowledge that they are the Edomites. We're going to read them scrolls to them, man. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Yeah, so the earth is in the hands of the wicked. Who's the wicked? The Edomites, the so-called white man, right? And it says he covered the faces of the judges. Because who are the true judges, man? The so-called Negro, Latinos, Native American people, which are the Israelites. And when it says they covered the judges, they basically rewrit history. Since Esau has been in power, in a worldly term, they call it, they call it um, the worldly way, they call it whitewashing history. You know, they've whitewashed history. All right. That's what they've done. They've whitewashed um, uh, the reality of the world. They whitewashed the truth, basically. Said they're the people of the Lord. They're the, they're the, they're the Israelites. They're the Jews. They're the, they're, 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 the, they're, you know, they're the Lord. They've lied on history. So the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. But the truth now has flourished. The truth now is coming out. And we're finding out that, no, you're really the wicked. Everyone's seeing that. Even lesser, low, lower level so-called white people know that their, people, their, rule, their rulers are evil. This is their world. So everyone's finding out the earth is in their hands. Everyone's finding out this earth is in the hands of, of the wicked. We've been saying that for years. But now because we're at the end, the Lord's totally just exposing everything. All right. Before he, do, before he brings that great judgment. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 7. 2nd Ezra 6 and 7. It says... It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Be beginning of what? Beginning of it that followeth, meaning when, when's going to be the new world, basically. the Because when the so-called white man goes down, when, it's, when that's, you know, you hear that worldly saying, oh, we're, we're at the end days. Well, what, people don't know what they're talking about when they say it. We're at the end days of Esau's rulership. Whitey or Esau, the so-called white man, he's about to be brought down. And the new world, the new earth is going to, the new earth and rulership is coming. And who's going to be the ones in power? The Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, Native American people. All right. So, so it says, then answered I and said, what shall be the part in the sun of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first, which is what? This world. What's that saying? The first shall be last and the last shall be first. Who's the first in this world? The so-called white man. He's the prince of this world. He's the power of this world. His image has been exalted. Even though now he's going down, his image has been exalted as if he's the good guy. You know? And the last, which is who? The last in this world is who? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American people. We're just oppressed. Our image is despised. You know, we're looked down on by the so-called white man and all the other nations. But they're going down now. You see, now it's our time to be back on top. And this is the time we're in. So it said, the end of the first and the beginning of it that followed. What's the beginning of it that followed? The kingdom of heaven for the Israelites. It says, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, which who's Esau? Esau's the, the people that are in power today. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world. This world, this current system we're in, Esau, the Edomites are in power and they're the end of this current system. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Who's Jacob? Negroes, Latinos, Native American peoples. We are Jacob and we're the beginning of it that followeth. Meaning we are the beginning of the world to come, which is very soon. 
And it's going to be here on earth, man. And that's going to be the rulership of Israel, man. The righteous people are going to be finally back in authority. All right? We ain't going to live like this forever, man. This was the Lord set Esau up for a set time and then to bring him down, man. So this wickedness is soon coming to its end, man. So let me play a bit more of this and I'm going to close up. How much they acquire of either, they will continue in that goal to just conquer and acquire even when it means taking from others. I'm talking about the type of people that have so much that they could never spend it in 10 lifetimes and still could walk past a, a homeless person, a starving person, women and children in need and not feel a fucking thing, not feel nothing, not feel had even a thought for a second that maybe I should give them something. You know, uh, whatever I have in my pocket is nothing to me. To them, it'll change their lives. Not only. So, you know, with that, you know, with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha, Kudash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect Akiyam that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha, Kudash. Shalom, Shalom.